Luke Hill for Kit Guru here. We're in the AMD booth. Let's take it to her. They've done a bunch of interesting stuff at CES 2023. So they've announced the new processors for the laptops, or the APUs, I should say, Zen 4. Let's go and have a look at some laptops, shall we? Now, a bunch of these, realistically, they're going to be Ryzen 6000. But if Leo wants to come in and just show some good B-roll while I talk about stuff, the new 7040 series is basically going to be effectively a Zen 4 revision of the 6000 series that we've seen already. So monolithic design, Zen 4 architecture, upgraded to the RDNA 3 internal graphics. And it's got the AMD XDNA engine, so that integrated AI engine that manufacturers can use for some cool Microsoft features, as we saw Lisa discussing at the keynote. Ah, and here we actually have an example of Tough Game in A16 which has, what's that, Ryzen 9 7940HS processor. Ah, some new graphics too. Oh, what have I done? I've broken something. There you go. And that's RX 7700S graphics, which I, I don't think I've seen mentioned, actually. Have you seen mentioned? Huh. Okay. Well, yeah, there's that. So, tough game in A16. Graphics, 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 but nothing new in the announcement. I'm surrounded by AMD staff, so is this the point where I mention a vapor chamber? I'm stood here by some random laptops, the Ryzen 6000, the old hat now, but what we've learned in the briefing is about AMD's Ryzen 7000. So one of the new points that I want to bring up is the 7045 series, and this is new. So it's following the chiplet design that we see with the desktop AMD processors, and that's a complete differentiation to the monolithic design that we see on the 7040, so not 7045, the 7040 series processors, which are more of an evolution of the 6000 series laptop or mobile processors. Basically, what we're seeing, chiplet design, high performance, they're going to be Zen 4 architecture. There are going to be some differences, though, so you're going to have to pay real attention to that product stack. For example, the AI-based features through the XDNA engine. You're not going to get those with 7045. What you are going to get is copious amounts of cache, similar to the desktop chips, up to 16 cores and 32 threads, over 5 gigahertz boost, 55 watt plus TDPs, probably not 150 watt like the competitor because AMD tells us they probably just don't need it. 100 watts is plenty and we see that from Zen on the desktop. But basically, this looks like desktop processors shoehorned into a laptop as we've seen from the competitor. So they could be interesting to see. And I'm gonna stay stood by the laptop so I've got 3D cache on the processor because I've got a weird yellow halo around my head if I move. But basically, yeah. 3D is coming to Zen 4. Ryzen 7 3D to the 8 core. It's going to be a Ryzen 9 12 core and a Ryzen 9 16 core. What you're going to notice is these are 120 watt TDP parts. So basically, you're not going to see those 170 watt TDPs that we see with the normal Ryzen 9s on Zen 4 because you're not going to really handle the thermals with the 3D cache on there. But 120 watts, even with that slab of 64 megs of 3D cache, probably going to be fine for realistic speeds. You are going to be a little bit below what we see in the non 3D parts. What we do see though is the dual CCD chips are going to be 64 megs on one core chiplet and non 3D cache on the other chiplet, so just standard for the other chiplet. And according to AMD, that gives you the best of both worlds. So you get your frequencies and your boost on one of the chiplets and then on the 3D cache chiplet, you get the benefits of that 3D cache. And basically, these are for gamers. We try to prod on whether there are other use cases and if there are, then please do tell us. But according to AMD, these seem like they're very, very specific gaming chips. But now, if you're a content creator plus a gamer, you've got to the Ryzen 9 standard. And I actually lied a few minutes ago, there are 7,000 series laptops on show, they were just somewhat hidden. Here we have an interesting one, Lenovo IdeaPad 1, and what we're seeing here is the AMD Ryzen 3 7320U, so that 2 indicates Zen 2. So this is the, how do you say that, Mendocino? I'm going to say Mendocino. And basically, it's going to be, according to AMD, pretty reasonably priced, but pretty impressive for this caliber of laptop. So this is not your bargain basement, you know, chucking on the floor type laptop. It's going to be a bit higher end than that, so perhaps a sensible, you know, university student laptop. Interestingly, Zen 2 with DDR5 technology, and this is actually using a 6 nanometer process node. So the product stack, if I'm being perfectly honest, looks like a complete and utter mess. And I'm sure AMD won't appreciate me saying that, but as far as I'm concerned, that's the reality. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comment section down below. But there's a mix of 4 nanometer, I think 5 nanometer, 6 nanometer, 7 nanometer, Zen 2, Zen 3, Zen 3 plus, Zen 4, RDNA 2, RDNA 3, XDNA, not XDNA, USB 4, USB 4 asterisk, not USB 4. Um, have I missed anything else out? 
Uh, probably milkshake and coffee. I, I don't know. I just, this is the shop in this. I'll throw the kitchen sink at it. And here I'm going to sign out next to a server, probably because it's worth tens of thousands of dollars. Don't even know. So why not? Pick the most expensive thing on the floor, stand next to it. And that's been our tour of the AMD. I want to say booth, but this room is massive. So the AMD massive room, let's call it big room. The AMD big room at CES 2023. A lot of cool stuff. Check back for future content. Like, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. Check out more of our CES 2023 videos. We'll see you in the next one.